Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica. I'm a first time mum. I'm currently 35 weeks pregnant. I'll be 36 weeks on Monday. I am due on the 1st of October. I've got a feeling he's going to come a bit early. Um, so today I'll be making a video about my ultimate registry checklist. Um, I'm all about lists. So I've been running this list since I found out I was pregnant. So I've, I'm a big fan of watching all these types of videos. Um, so I've been watching them for a while and making notes myself that would match me and my partner's lifestyle. So, and I also wanted to make a video for all the Aussie mums out there. Um, there are a lot of American videos and UK videos and they have some really cool stuff that's not available to us over here. So everything I'm going to talk about is going to be available for us in Australia. I'll link everything below. And if there's it's not available anymore, I will find some dupes and I'll link it down below. So just follow those through. Um, today I will go through the list um, via categories. I've written down my list here, so don't mind me if I keep looking this way. I just don't want to miss anything. Um, and I've been creating this list for quite some time, so just bear with me. Let's get started because it's got we've got quite a bit of things to go through. But, all right. <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable at the moment. Whew. They've told me that baby might come early, so I'm hoping that he will, but I'm hoping he doesn't come too soon because I still have my baby shower and my baby moon to go to. Our first category is out and about and travel items. So I'll post the photos here just so you know what I'm talking about. So we've got um, a pram or stroller or a travel system. Well, I opted into the travel system. So I got a Red's baby pram and they're compatible with quite a few different car seats. So you could buy the adapters and then you can choose your car seat. So it's kind of got like one system that was recommended to me by a few other mums and they said that was quite helpful to transfer baby in and out of the um the pram if they were already sleeping so i thought that was really good i got myself a red's baby but also recommend the um my second option was baby b i believe it was and they they also compatible with several car seats so i'll link them down below all right number two we've got car seat so i've already mentioned that so you can either get a pram a separate pram and a separate car seat it's up to you they don't have to be a travel combo and some people opt to that and that's fine it's everyone's choice i'm sorry i'm so uncomfortable oh all right Whew. all right next is a carrier or wrap so I've noticed that the Baby Bjorn is really, really popular. So the Baby Bjorn, or I am really wanting a material wraps. So I think it, it's called Chico. Chico, I put, I haven't purchased that yet. Um, I've put it on my baby shower registry. So I'm hoping someone will buy that for me. I'm happy to try a few different ones in case baby doesn't like it. So, because I heard some people, sometimes it depends what baby wants and what baby, baby likes. So I think that's a really important one on the list. A travel cot or bassinet. So I got a bassinet. So I'm going to keep that one in our room. Like newborn until he's six months. So as you can see here, I've actually bought a cot. So but he won't be using that for a while. And I got this one from Ikea. I believe it was under $100 but with the cot you obviously have to purchase uh, the mattress the mattress protector and all the fitted sheets as well as the same same goes for the bassinet so what else we've got in a, a diaper bag so a diaper bag was bought to me by my brother I actually have it here one sec here we go so my brother purchased this one for me it's a backpack and it's got the zipper here. He got it from Amazon actually. He's got an Amazon Prime membership. So it opens up like that. I've started packing baby's bag for the hospital already. But it's got lots of pocket. It's really light and it's waterproof inside. So I really, really love that one. I'll find the link from him and I'll link it down below. Car mirror is the another one. So while baby's in the car and because they are reversed facing, I believe. 
um, you'll be able to see baby that way through your re rear view mirror as well. So I've put on my baby shower registry. So I haven't purchased that one yet. Travel mat or travel changer. So I didn't purchase that one because the bag that my brother actually got me, it came with, it came with a mat, travel mat changer. So that was a good one. So maybe look out for that where you can get a combo. All right, now next, nursing and feeding. Okay, let's see. So I got the bundle from Tommy Tommy TP. So that came with bottles, a sterilizer, a brush, and a warmer. So that was under, I'm pretty sure I got it on sale at Big W for about $159. Um, I'll find I'll find the link for Big W, but if I can find another link that's where it's on sale, I'll link it down below. Pacifiers, so I got a whole different range of pacifiers, so different brands, because I know there's different types of teats and everything like that. I've put it up here, actually. So I'm sitting on the floor of my nursery. Um, let's see. Oh, here it is. <sighs> All right, so I've put in this cute little jar that I got from Kmart, actually. So let's have a look. So I've got some from Event here and got one from Tommy TP as well and where is this one from? Doesn't say. But yeah, so it's best to get different types of brands just to see which one baby might like. And don't forget the pacifier strap so baby won't lose it. Can you see that? It's not, it's not focusing, but yeah, so I'll strap onto the ba baby's clothes and then strap onto the pacifier so you don't lose it. All right, what's next? We've got, everyone raves about this, nursing pillow. Now, a lot of the videos I've watched because they are American, they're, they said, I think the brand was the Boppy pillow, but whatever nursing pillow you get will be will be fine. Um, I'm actually sitting on the nursing pillow right now because it's helping with my back. Um, bibs and birth cloths. I've got a few different style of bibs. So I got the material one, I got the silicon ones. The silicon ones from Kin, they're a really beautiful color. As you can see my nursery, I'm not sure if you can see it. I kind of went for like the jungle theme, so lots of like neutral colors. Um, I decided on the theme before before I knew the sex of the baby. So that's why I went with all the very neutral and kind of, and I added the jungle theme once I found out it was a boy. Uh, but yeah, so I'll link that down below. Some bibs and birth cloths. Um, I got some from Amazon actually, and they were really, really nice. Um, that weird band-aid-y shape ones. Um, a high chair. I heard someone's getting that for me for my baby shower, so I did not purchase that one. Um, a breast pump and storage bag. So I'm those the storage bags I put on my baby shower list, but the breast pump I'm leaving until the very end to purchase to see. Well, it just depends if how well my milk comes in and everything like that. So um, I've left that to the end. But the first thing I purchased was the hucker. No, it's not the dance um, or anything like that. The haka is this, it's actually in my, I'll show you, I have it right next to me. Every video I've watched now, so every video I've watched, they've said the haka has been the most amazing product for them in regards to feeding. So it's this thing right here, this silicon. So I believe your boob goes in here and it kind of collects any kind of, um, leftovers while you're feeding baby at the same time so I've purchased that one it also comes with lids and everything like that I'll link it down below um, a nipple shield now I didn't purchase this until recently so and that's if your nipples are really sore so that goes over the nipple where the baby can still um, obviously gain access to your to the milk uh, what's next teethers so I've put that on my baby shower list, so it's it's a little, you know, little toys that people can get you, and they're and they're cheap, so pe I put that on the list so people can grab that for me. Um, baby dinnerware. Now I didn't know that baby started eating at four months, and I was like, oh, they'll be they'll survive on milk this whole time. It's fine. I was wrong. 
was so wrong. Okay, so um, I put that on my baby shower checklist. Um, but I do, there's a specific brand that I want. Um, I think it's from Nord Life. And they've got this really beautiful kind of bronzy color. And they've got caramel color that I really want. And there's a set that I really like. I'll show you. Um, just link below. I'll show you up here. Um, and also, the last thing on the nursing and feeding category isn't for baby, is for you, mamas. So you need new bras. You need a nursing bra. You need some nursing pads. Um, I actually purchased reusable ones. Um, they're really beautiful and soft, so you can just wash them once you're done. Um, nipple ointments, obviously, nipple creams and things like that. And I got a gel, like those gel cover things. Like you put it in the fridge and you can put it on your boob when you're really sore. So I got that. Let's keep going because the list is long. Nappies and changing. Nappy changing. Nappy changing. Nappies, etc. All right, so obviously you need nappies. I bought myself a just a single box of 108 newborn nappies. They say not to overbuy just the single brand because your baby might not like that brand. So purchase a few different ones till you know which one baby likes. Wipes and ointments and oils. I got, again, different brand wipes because you just don't know what baby's gonna like or how sensitive their skin's gonna be. So what's next? We've got a changing mat changing mat not a travel changing nap but a proper mat so this one here i got behind me i didn't you can get a changing table if you wish um the room that we have is a bit too small so i wanted to save on space so i got a changing pad from ikea um and you can purchase like the, the waterproof cover on it so that's what i went with a diaper pail diaper bin and refills I mentioned this to one of my work friends and she told me not to get one because the refills are very expensive but if you want to get one go ahead um, she got me instead it looks like it's come it comes from a wipe dispenser but it's actually a bag dispenser and it's scented I'm not sure where she got it from I'll find out but that's where you can put your nappy straight away and bag it up and then take it. Uh, I live, we have a two story house, so I will take it downstairs straight away. I wouldn't leave it up here. Um, but yeah, that's another option. Or you can just buy a cheap bin from Kmart. Okay. This is optional, but it's called a bum brush. I really want one. Like you just have to scoop the ointment out and then push it on the baby. I don't know. It, it's, it's not a need. It's more of a want. That's all I have for nappy and changing. All right, let me just get comfortable again. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. Okay. All right, so we're up to the category health and safety equipment. Now, this is a bit of a long one. All right, we've got, so you need a thermometer. So I got the digital thermometer. My brother got that one for me from Aldi when they were having their baby special. So that won't be available until they have their baby specials again. So I'll find another link where I can um, I can link you with something that's similar. A baby monitor. So I haven't purchased that one yet. I put it in the baby shower list. But I also, it's not something that you need brand new. And I also found a link in my baby mama group where Kmart is doing something that's very similar to the lollipop baby monitor. And it, it's just like another dupe. So I'll link that one below because it's kind of the one I want now. Nasal aspirator. So that's on my baby shower checklist. It sounds like I haven't bought anything at all, but my whole room is full. Um, all right. Uh, a safety gate. A safe, uh, we need two safety gates, one for upstairs, one from downstairs, so it kind of blocks the stairway section. So baby proofing your house is really important. I found out catch of the day, actually. There's one where like, I think it comes in a gray and a white, so it kind of pulls. It's not the actual gate. Also put on my baby shower checklist, a health and grooming kit. So I think Tommy Teepee actually has a kit where it comes in its own little bag and it's got like nail clippers, it's got a little brush. Um, what else is it? There's a whole 
bunch of little things in there. So I put that on the baby shower list. Um, a humidifier. That is also on the baby shower list. I have a lot of people coming to my baby shower, so I had to leave a lot of stuff out for them to purchase. So outlet covers, again, that's houseproofing. So you can get that from Bunnings. I saw that in Bunnings. You can get it from Kmart, Big W. So they're not they're not overly expensive, but they'll save you in the long run. Like the safety of ba your baby is everything. I've purchased sensitive cleaning detergents and chemical and um, cleaning agents. So for the last few months now, I've just been cleaning with that, and I've washed the majority of baby's clothes. But more do keep coming from my mum. She can't stop purchasing things. And next is a first aid kit and medicine. Like I would check with your doctor first, like what medicines in case your baby has obviously an allergy when they're born or the certain things that they can't have. So double check with your doctor. But I have a little first aid kit like for adults, but I'll have one for baby as well. So that I'll keep up here so we can keep it separate. House proofing. So making sure that everything is pretty much secured to the wall so if you have any standing mirrors even your cabinets or anything like that that baby can like accidentally push over or when they start crawling you don't want that coming down on them so making sure that is all safe and baby proof and secured to the wall normally a lot of furniture things now do offer the little latch that's at the back and then you just secure that to the wall and i also wanted a medical dispenser like it's like a little syringe without the needle so i put that on my baby shower list because they're very inexpensive and it's just little knickknacks that people can buy you for your baby shower all right the next category category is the nursery so I'm sitting in my nursery right now there's a lot of stuff in here it's a smaller room so that's probably why there's a lot of stuff all right so the first thing on my list for the nursery category is a pack and plate if you don't want a crib like I mentioned before I got myself an actual crib so that this is the one I got from Ikea um, I got, I also bought myself a baby lounger or otherwise known as a docker tot, but that was way too expensive for me because that, that was around like $300, I think. So I saw one online and there was a specific color that I wanted, the, the, the caramel bronze color. So I found that on an Australian website. I'll link them down below. Um, they were really, really lovely and it looks beautiful. Um, I'll link a photo up here. And what's next? We've got, um, obviously you need a mattress for your cot, um, fitted sheets. I've got several fitted sheets. Obviously you need one of these, like a drawer. I've got, I didn't buy a baby drawer. I know you can get like a set for the babies, but I wanted something that he could transition into when he gets older. So there's a lot of space in that one. Next one is glider or a rocking chair. Now I got my rocking chair from Aldi. Um, they were really, really popular. I wasn't sure how comfortable they would be because I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to be spending a lot of time on that. But it was, it's so comfortable. Like it is so comfortable. Um, and I only got that for like $99 or $120. I know it went on sale, but they always have it at Aldi and people are always selling it on Marketplace. So don't be afraid to go secondhand if you want to with some items because a lot of people don't use certain things or baby doesn't like certain things. So always check out Facebook Marketplace for things like that. I got a white noise machine. Now I got that one from Amazon. I've actually used it myself and it has, oh, it's got a, quite a few tones on it and it works for me and my partner. So I'm hoping it's gonna work for baby. So I might even buy him his own one. Well, I've, I've taken his one now, so I'm gonna have to buy another one. And I'm gonna buy a little portable one, because I know you can buy like the smaller ones that will go on his pram. Obviously you need some blankets in the in the cot here. You want a hamper to put all baby's dirty clothes. You don't want to mix it up with your clothes. Storage dresser, like I said, we've, I've mentioned that already. We, we do have a built-in cupboard, but it's got all my clothes pre pre-pregnancy so I haven't been able to like go of them yet um, I do have to go through that cupboard and decor now decor it's up to everyone however you want to design it this room I I did it under $150 to be honest with that pot all of these pillows I got from H&M majority of it was from Kmart just putting things together like 
it's really easy if you just take your time and have like a, a plan or an idea and then just see what's available. It's really hot. I also got a toy box from Aldi. I haven't put that together yet. Um, well, my partner hasn't put that together yet, so we'll, we'll probably do it next week after our baby moon. So the next category is activity and entertainment. I haven't bought anything for baby regarding that because my friends have told me not to because they said they've already bought something. So, but on my list, um, I've got a swing or a bouncer on my list um, or a combination of both. Because they, they do say that baby may or may not like to be swung or rocked. It depends. So it's very independent of what your baby's going to like or dislike. But my boss did, um, on my last day on Friday, they got me a, I think it's an ingenuity ro swing? Or is it rocker? One of them. But I'll link that down below. It's the one I, I did want. So I'm quite happy that I don't have to purchase that one. Play mat in a, like, the one with the jungle gym. So my friend also bought that one for me. I haven't received it yet because it's not, I haven't had my baby shower because I've had to push it back a few times because of COVID. I'm actually quite lucky that I'm still having one because restrictions just came in again. They're not allowed more than 10 people. And I know there's more than 10 people coming to my baby shower. The amount of things on my list that I've left for the baby shower. Boys, I haven't bought any toys yet because I know that the family will buy that for us. So didn't want to waste my money on that. A walker, so I haven't purchased that one yet because he's not going to start walking till a few months from now. And I just didn't want the clutter, but that is on my list. Books, so a few of my friends, well, my work friends have gotten me some books. A few Dr. Seuss ones. I do want to get the like the high contrast black and white ones because I know Baby really likes that. So that's all I've got for entertainment and activities for the time being. Last category is bathing. The digital aqua bathtub. So it reads the baby's weight and the temperature of the water. So that's why I wanted that one. So I didn't have to buy another bath thermometer. And I also bought it with the stand. So I, I didn't want to be, I didn't want to have the bathtub in our actual bathroom and then kneeling over it. Cause I know my back will be sore. I'll still be recovering. So I bought the stand with it. And I think oh, I bought that from, where did I buy that from? Baby Bunting actually, because they were having a massive sale. So I went and grabbed that. I think it was about $120 altogether. I know that's a bit much for just a bathtub, but it's something I really wanted. So I got it. Um, I've got some hooded towels, but I do expect some from my baby shower because I didn't write it on the baby shower list because you can never have enough baby towels. Um, especially the hooded ones, that's what I wanted. Um, washcloths, so I've got all the washcloths. I've got all baby shampoos, wash and lotion. So I bought a few different um, brands. I got ones from the Eco store. I got the baby Johnson's one with Della or something like that. So I'm trying a few different ones in case baby doesn't like it. I got some oils as well and I actually personally use baby oil on my skin, so I've got heaps of that already. I haven't purchased any bath toys yet because he's not going to be sitting up or anything like that at the very beginning. That's it for my list. It sounds like I haven't bought anything. I've left it all for the baby shower. I hope that was helpful and insightful. These things are just the things I really needed for baby to make it as comfortable as possible when he arrives. Clothes. So I didn't include clothes in this list because there's a whole, that's a whole nother video, to be honest. There's so many types of clothes out there. There's swaddles, there's different types of swaddles, there's 90s, there's, there's so many things. So I wanted to leave that to another video. If you want me to make a clothing haul baby video, please let me know below. Um, oh, I also forgot. I went on the Body Wise Birth Wise store and I purchased, I was purchasing postpartum items, but I came across Cross. It's called Cord Care Antiseptic Herbal Powder for the baby cord so it helps dry it out and keep it clean and it makes it fall off within two to three days. So I'll link that one below because I thought that would be really, really helpful for everyone. I keep coming across things all the time. So if I find anything else, 
I'll let you guys know. But thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if there's any other videos you want me to make, um, please let me know below. Really wanting to make what's in my hospital bag video. So that might be the next one. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And take care and stay safe. Bye.